In this edition of Small Business Champions, we hear from three owners about how they've brought their business online. This pandemic has highlighted the importance of having a digital presence, and we're proud of the way businesses have accelerated their online experience for customers. I hope you enjoy the conversation. We brought our business online by attracting as many contributors as we could to provide amazing content that was really supportive to parents. Um, not only new parents, which is our normal focus, but we wanted to expand that to all parents who were um, currently you know, at home with their children and they weren't used to that potentially or were struggling. And um, a lot of parents were letting us know that they felt as though suddenly they had been thrust back you know, 10 or 12 years to being a stay at home new parent. And so we wanted to provide as much uh, support as we could online. We haven't really. Uh, our business is definitely more of a face to face, um, people come to us uh, personal service. So I guess we've, we've delivered remote sessions to clients using applications such as Zoom. But primarily, I guess it's been about um, keeping in contact with clients, just encouraging them to. I guess get some regular physical activity into their weeks in I guess challenging circumstances and I guess keeping those relationships uh, I guess alive so that when we are able to start up again um, we'll I guess have a group of clients to come back to. We've been online um, in the last couple of years and that's been really helpful for us uh, and I think that should also um, be uh, uh, something that new businesses should think about now going online because that's really helped us now uh, and that's what we're going to have a nation because we were online and we were looking to scale up so it's a great time to think about that uh, and it, it is perfect in our thinking about going online and how we can actually all be a part of this community uh, from a digital space. I have really missed that face-to-face -face kind of meetings with, with our parents in, in the schools and in the, um, in the banks. Um, it's something that is sort of the fundamental driver of Village is, is that eye-to-eye -eye contact and it's, we really miss that. Um, given everything on Zoom is it's actually impossible to do eye to eye. <laughs> I think I've realised um, the value of personal relationships and probably realised that I somewhat took those for granted prior to COVID. So I think um, uh, one of the things I've promised myself is that I will try and value those relationships more on the other side. And I think it means simple things such as when I'm talking with someone, even if it's the coffee barista, just to not be fiddling with my phone, but actually being engaged in that conversation and really value them as a, as a person and for what they've got to say at that point in time. The, the one thing I miss the most is just the hustle part, you know, because, you know, I like going out there and, you know, promoting the business, doing lots of things around it. So, you know, that's the one big thing that I've missed. Support for small businesses is a major part of the City of Adelaide's $4 million city support package. We've established a small business task force and are providing regular updates via our City Business Newsletter. To get all the latest information delivered to your inbox, subscribe today at cityofadelaide.com.au forward slash business.